On behalf of the class of 2016, we would like to thank all the staff members who have helped us through our journey, and we would also like to wish the best of luck to our fellow graduating peers. 2016, you did it! Yeah! Yeah! This has been an amazing journey. I only did SNN for like a year, but it was great. I love all of you. Good day, Steelman. You are watching the May 20th edition of the SNN News with me, Edgar, and my friends. Attention, seniors. You must turn in your textbooks in the former textbook center, room 151, through May 27th. Before turning in textbooks, make sure you no longer need them for your classes and exams. All outstanding fees must be paid in the new textbook center in the student center between 7 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Dr. Bowers would like to thank our 2015 through 16 officers, President Danny Rodriguez, and Vice President Tamara Sneebly. Secretary Dalen Jones, Treasurer Nicole Long, and Public Relations Anna Shea Love for all their hard work and dedication to our club. We did so many amazing projects this year and we were able to help so many of our community members. Thank you to all Key Club members for your commitment to making this club that cares one child and one community at a time. Also, Key Club is proud to announce our officers for the 2016-17 school year. President Miriam Perez, Vice President Sylvia Antonay, Secretary Rodolfo Perez, Treasurer is Crystal Ortiz, and Public Relations is Griselda Chavez. Attention seniors, if your ID number is not appearing on the graduation list posted outside of the counselor's office, room 284, you will need to see your counselor for a clearance letter ASAP. Calling all talented students, Ms. Jones will be holding auditions in the choir room on the following dates if you are interested. No preparations are necessary or required. Deal tones today and Monday, May 23rd from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. New Era Gospel Choir sign up and information meeting will be held on Tuesday, May 24th. There will be a girls basketball informational meeting about summer 2016 on Tuesday, May 24th. Report to the cafeteria by 3.30 p.m. There will be a boys basketball informational meeting on Monday, May 23rd regarding summer information. Please be in the auditorium by 3.30 p.m. Human Relations Club will have their final meeting of the year on today in room 401. We'll be having our end of the year potluck party as well as elected our new officers. All are welcome to join. In the last freshman class committee meeting for 2015 to 2016 school year will be today from 3.30 to 4.15 p.m. in room 319. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Merrill in room 319 or Ms. Stephan in room 289. Students, May 24, 2016 begins another year for the KB Hoops Basketball Camp. The program is looking for interested high school students to assist with creating a fun and motivating environment for players entering 1st through 8th grade to enhance performance and improve their game. Volunteers will be responsible for activities such as scorekeeping, helping with drills, refereeing, and etc. Please note that community service hours will be issued to anyone interested. For further information, please contact the guidance counselors or Maria Arena in the principal's office. Students and staff, our local Dunkin' Donuts on Chicago Street has partnered with the yearbook to help raise funds to make this yearbook the best ever. All you have to do is save your receipt and turn it into Miss Randy to room 277 with your name on it. You'll get a free donut coupon as a thank you. This offer is good until the end of the school year. Steelman, there will be a football program meeting on Tuesday, May 24th. Again, Coach Boyder would like to remind everyone that there will be a football program meeting on Tuesday, May 24th at 3.30 in the multi-purpose room. See Coach Boyder in room 121 with any questions. Thank you. Today's lunch, bean and cheese burrito, pepperoni pizza, golden crispy breaded chicken sandwich, salmon burger, ham deli sandwich, chef salad with chicken, cheese and crackers, Bosco cheese sticks with marinara sauce, and your choice up to four half cup servings of corn, kidney bean salad, mixed fruit, variety fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. Monday's breakfast, pancake on steak with syrup, 100% fruit juice, up to half cup serving of fruit, and your choice of milk. Monday's lunch, pepper steak with fries, sausage pizza, spicy grills, chicken sandwich, cheeseburger, turkey, deli sandwich, chef salad with chicken, cheese, and crackers. Bosco cheese sticks with marinara sauce, and your choice up to four half cup servings of baked beans, cherry, tomatoes with dip, applesauce, variety fresh fruit, and your choice of milk. I uh, want to wish Stephanie Ramirez happy birthday. 
That's all for this week. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Hi, I'm Marco Singletary, Chairman of Joliet Township's Young Americans for Freedom chapter. And I have teamed up with the Young Americas Foundation to expose the traditional and effective set of conservative values to Joliet's youth that will make for a freer, safer, and more prosperous America. Many amazing opportunities could come with your association with YAF. In March, I was invited to attend the Young Americas Foundation's Spring Conference in Santa Barbara, California. For four days, I was able to meet some of the most renowned leaders of the conservative movement, such as Fox News regular and journalist Ben Shapiro, President Reagan's former advisor Ron Robinson, and many other influential figures. There, I also experienced a tour of Rancho de Cielo, or Ranch of the Heavens, which is President Reagan's private 600-acre ranch in the beautiful mountains of Santa Barbara. Similar opportunities will be available to those who wish to be part of this chapter. Other destinations Young America's Foundation offers trips to include Nashville, Washington, Santa Barbara, and many more. Joliet's chapter will host fun activities throughout the year, often offering community service. Activities include the 9-11 Never Forget Project, where members of the chapter will decorate the school with about 3,000 American flags, representing each life lost on that September morning. The chapter also has the opportunity to host a conservative speaker, such as former Speaker of the House, Newt Gingrich, Pennsylvania Senator Rick Santorum, rock star Ted Nugent, media mogul Steve Forbes, and many more. Joliet CF will also hold events and celebrations in honor and support of Hispanic Heritage Month, Black History Month, Women's History Month, and in support of JROTC. Make note this chapter is not only for people who understand and dabble in politics, but anyone with any amount of knowledge willing to learn and have fun with the Joliet Township's Young Americans for Freedom chapter. If you are interested in learning about conservative principles, traveling the country, hosting big names, and being involved in community events, come down to Mr. Lundgren's room, 265, on Tuesday, May 24th, after school. Thanks.